This is Alin from Javelin with the second video from the series presenting troubleshooting and healing techniques for imported bodies. At the end of the first video, we ran import diagnostics, identified and deleted the phase that created the problems, and as a result, the original solid body would turn into a collection of unconnected surface bodies with gaps between them, about 100 gaps, 101, and uh, 99 surface bodies. Since, uh, if you remember the problem we had were uh, closed loops of edges inside one phase which is topologically incorrect. So let's take advantage of the fact that now we split these loops into their own faces in order to delete them. So they're not going to create problems after that. The phase that we just uh, that we deleted with import diagnostic was a planar phase, so it would make sense to use the planar surface command in order to recreate it. You might want to consider selecting all the edges directly in the planar surface uh, command, but you're gonna find out you're gonna have a hard time selecting all of them. It's gonna be really slow if you do this manually. We're gonna try. We're gonna um, save that technique for the next video. So instead of selecting the edges right away, we're going to create a sketch actually. So let's create a plane uh, defined by two of the edges. And on that plane, we're just going to pick up all these edges and we're going to turn them into sketch entities. First of all, let's identify the main surface. I'm just going to call it main body because I, I want to hide it first before I do anything else. So. It's just going to make my life easier when I'm going to select all those all those edges. So let's create a sketch on the plane that we just defined. Switch to the top view so I can pick up the edges from one side. Turn on the filter for selecting edges, so F5. I can select only edges. And let's try to select everything with a window, a window starting from the left going to the right. Try to make this window as small as possible in order to limit the selection of wrong edges. So I selected all these edges. I'm not sure if this actually is going to work because if there is any of these edges in a um, direction that's perpendicular to the sketch plane, it's not going to allow me to use convert entities. So let's try convert entities. And if we get an error, we have to hunt for the edges that are in the wrong um, position. So let's see. Yeah, so I have some edges that are not in the correct direction. Um, those probably are here, as you can see. This one, instead of, shouldn't have been selected. Same, same thing for uh, for the other one. Uh, let's see if there is another one on on another side. Well. I'm just going to click OK and let's see what we what we get. There might be... I'm just going to click OK. Let's see. And actually it did work. So I selected all those edges. That being said, notice here I, I don't see those uh, sketch entities. It's like they're missing, but if I'm hovering with my mouse over, I see this as being a circle, this being a line. Actually, this looks like an edge, not a uh, not an entity. If I go and select other, you see there is a line there. So there is something fishy here. So before even I go forward, I'm going to ask SolidWorks to do a diagnostic if, if I can use this uh, a sketch in um, for a planar surface. But first of all, let's uh, remove all the other edges that we don't need. So this should not uh, have anything to do with my, uh, do not have anything to do with my uh, planner surface. Another one here, and one here, uh, two more, and one more here. Good. So I guess I uh, removed all the ones that I didn't want to. Um, going forward, let's see if I'm going under Tools, 
sketch tools. There is a command here that unfortunately doesn't fit on my screen, uh, but it's uh, called check sketch for feature. So I'm going to see if I can use this for a planar surface. I don't have here the option for planar surface, but I can try basics through this. Uh, the same uh, input. And it tells me I cannot do it because an endpoint is wrongly shared by multiple entities. I'm going to click OK and hopefully SOLIDWORKS is going to identify that area that created problems. So uh, in order to fix this, uh, one thing I can do, I can pick up, pretty much pick up this edge, uh, try to delete it, and it looks like there is another one right there. So that looks like there were two lines, one on top of each other. Just going to do a refresh, no more problems found. So that's good. Next, let's show the main body. Now I can see the main body. And let's pick up also the edges uh, that belong to the main body. I'm going to right click on this, select open loop. So everything that's blue is uh, it's an open edge and uh, can be selected. Convert this. Uh, pick up one of this one, right click, select open loop, convert, and pick up one on the side, select open loop, and it's just going ar around in order to select all those edges. So now I, I'm just converting them also. And now the moment of the truth, the moment of truth. Can we turn this into a planar surface? So we're going to see that the answer is yes, it works. Now let's knit the two, actually all the surface bodies together into one big happy surface body. close any gap that might be between those bodies. So I'm just going to zip these gaps and try to form a solid. And surprise, surprise, we have a solid body. This is what we want. In the last video of the series, I'm going to show you how this can be done much, much faster if you use a macro that would allow you to select all the open edges in one go. Thank you.